Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Erik Rezaev and today we are going to do an experiment. We will try to find out how fast Pro BMX rider moves and rides around skate park. For this experiment we have this cheap cycle computer aka speedometer. So I'll put this one to my BMX and we will try to find out how fast I am moving here in this skate park. So first Let's see what we have here. Computer. This thing that's going to be here in my bar, it holds the computer and little sensor that going to, to my wheel, the magnet. Little instruction. All right, let's install it to my BMX. Of course, we need some tape for this one. Now I need to tune this computer, so I should measure the tire diameter, use some formula and put this number to computer. Then this computer is going to count repetitions per second and it will show maximum speed. Alright, it's 52 centimeters. Right now, computer is tuned and let's see, does it work? So yeah, a free easy experiment. Yeah, it works. So yeah, and right here, it shows maximum speed. Exactly this number we need to check the maximum speed. So first, let's see. Just a little slow run around the park. How fast is it? <laughs> okay. So maximum speed was 32 kilometers per hour. So right now we have the first number. And guys, what do you think? What maximum speed I will achieve today on my BMX? You can write it in the comment or just have it in your mind. So my guess is for today's result, I think it will be a little bit more than 50 kilometers per hour. What do you think, guys? All right, a little bit faster. I'll reset the settings, once again, zero. Right now I'll do a couple of jumps, a couple of transfers. Okay, a little bit faster now, and it's 44 kilometers per hour. Actually, it's crazy how different this speed feels. Like 32 compared to 44, it's two different worlds, really. Like first run was super, super slow. Second one is pretty fast with a couple cool transfers, but the difference is just 12 kilometers per hour. It's like, looks so small, but feels like different world, really. So the next step of our experiment right now, we'll, we'll try to find out what is the speed for slowest 360 hour spine and the fastest 360 hour spine. All right, first, I'll do the fast one. Whoa. Wow, it was fast. <laughs> Let's see. 41 kilometers per hour. Okay, it's pretty much the same speed I did 
with big transfers. And right now, let's do the slowest 360. I'll try. So, reset. To make it clear, I'll try to get speed through pedaling, not through pumping. Because I think if I will pump there, the fastest speed will be there. And after, I'll just brake to make sure that we have the right maximum speed. Okay? All right. So, 31 kilometers per hour. 10 kilometers less. Wow. Right now, I think you can see, you should understand how different it feels. Like 10 kilometers difference, but it feels like two different things. Like first one, it feels like I'll jump to the flat. And second one, it's just hard to get over the spine. But all the difference is just 10 kilometers per hour. Wow, crazy. All right, let's do one more. I'll try to do the fastest 360 over jump box. I think it will be a little bit more than fast 360 over spine. So yeah, these jump box, same trick, 360. Let's go. Wow, 44.8. Again, I don't understand how it works. Like, difference is so small. It's just three and a half kilometers per hour, but difference is crazy. Like, over spine, it was fast. But right now, it feels much, much faster. All right, interesting, interesting. Let's do something else. I think without tricks, I'll just try to get more speed. I'll do a couple more transfers couple more fast moves. Let's get some speed. First this one. Not the fastest one, I think. And right now, I'll turn and do the big roll-in down. Wow, this one should be fast. Okay. Wow. Super interesting result, actually. I know, it, like, maybe it was more transfers, but already in my run, I understood that speed is actually a little bit slower than Big 360. So it's just 42.9. And actually, I don't know how to get more speed here. All right, I know one more transfer. I'll try to do it. I think the biggest one from here, from me. Uh, if this transfer is not gonna help, I don't know what, what else can help us to get bigger maximum speed. All right, let's do this, this transfer here. Okay, here's like six meter wall, I think. As always, I reset it first. Now let's try to do this one. Pretty far. All right, big one, let's go. <laughs> it was too much speed. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow, everything is alright. <laughs> okay, I think it was 
too much. <laughs> Speed was crazy. <laughs> okay, and luckily it worked out. <laughs> we have this maximum speed. 47.7 kilometers per hour. Oh my god. It was sketchy. And here, like, speed was too, too big, too fast. And I just lost the line, the right line. Oh my god. <laughs> it was sketchy. <laughs> okay, what else? What else? After a little thought, I decided that this speed was maximum that I can get from this skate park, from Wooden Park. And right now, we go to the maximum. We're going to foam pit. I'll try to do the fastest backflip I can do. I'll get as much speed like, as I can, and I'll do big backflip to the foam. I think there I can get more speed. Here, I don't know what should I do. Like, <laughs> like I don't know. This transfer was really big one, and everything else is is slower for sure. All right, I'm here at the top of the rolling. I'll start from here, go from there, and jump to the foam. I'll try to get maximum speed that I can. All right, let's try. I... Wow! <laughs> it's just two kilometers more. Wow. 49.3. I think I can do a little bit faster. Just scooter guy was there and I wasn't sure that I'm not hitting him. Uh, so let's try one more. Today we need to cross this 50 kilometers per hour line. But one more backflip. Feels like it was more. Yes. 50.1. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we get through this 50 kilometers line just by one tenth of a kilometer, but it's enough. <laughs> Whew, so I don't know, I think it was maximum speed. I don't think that I can do more, and I don't know what else we can do with this speedometer, what we can check. We already checked speed in Wood Park perform. Okay, I think I have one more thing. Let's try to see the slowest flare that I can do and the fastest flare I can do. Slowest flare. A little bit more speed, like this. Oh! <laughs> 33.7 kilometers per hour. Uh, I think it was slowest. I'm not going to try to do it slower. <laughs> it was sketchy actually. All right, let's do the fastest player. I'll try. Same quarter, different speed. Let's see what we have. Forty-seven point seven kilometers per hour. Wow. 15 kilometers per hour difference, but again, feels like crazy different. Like first one, I wasn't sure that I'll get the flare. Second one, I, I almost jumped over the fence. <laughs> so this is how 15 kilometers per hour different looks like. Interesting, really interesting. All right, I think that's the end of our science episode. It was really interesting to see how fast Pro BMX rider moves around the skate park. Hope you guys enjoy it, you like it, and see you next time. Peace! <laughs>